Denver 7 News starts right now. Colorado is in the political spotlight once again this week. Libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson will be in Parker on Monday. And then Donald Trump will stop in Pueblo Monday before appearing in Loveland. Later that night, Denver 7's Tony Kovaleski is live in the studio tonight. And Tony, these visits are getting more and more critical. And here's why, Eric. All the numbers are really critical right now, and they remain very fluid. Now, prior to last Monday night's debate, this CNN poll showed Clinton with a narrow two percentage point lead over Trump right here in Colorado. And a public policy poll after that debate showed in Colorado 53% believe Clinton won the debate, with only 31% of Colorado viewers saying Trump won. Those numbers make Trump's visit on Monday even more important. When Donald Trump's plane lands in Colorado on Monday, it will be sending a message to more than just the air traffic control tower. Donald Trump is signaling how important Colorado is to him right now. Former Republican State Chairman Dick Wadhams calls Monday's Colorado swing critical. Uh, there are still Republicans who have doubts about him. And frankly, his debate performance did not give them a lot of assurance that uh, he can take this all the way. And the respected Republican consultant says libertarian Gary Johnson's appearance in Colorado also sends a key message at a time when he has the ability to impact both Trump and Clinton. Gary Johnson is a huge problem for Hillary Clinton right now. Uh, he is also potentially a problem for Donald Trump because there is still a number, there are still a number of Republicans who are not convinced about Trump and they might be looking for an alternative. And Wadham says Monday's trips by Trump and Johnson will also apply pressure to the Clinton campaign and may force a Colorado response. The Democratic candidate has not been to Colorado since this visit back on August 3rd. American students and families ought to be able to refinance their debts. It, it will be interesting to see what Hillary Clinton does because she hasn't been here for a while. She's not on TV in Colorado other than the national ads that she's running. Clearly Colorado back in play. Trump's decision now to campaign in both Pueblo and Loveland also sends a message that he's becoming very tactical in our state. In Pueblo, Republican strategists tell us Trump is working to gain the vote of blue-collar working-class Democrats, voters that may be on the fence with Clinton. In Loveland, he's competing for the Larimer County vote, a swing county in Colorado, much like Jefferson and Arapahoe counties, and an important place to win if he wants to take this state. Eric? Tony.